Will you now join me in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Will you please join me in prayer? Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day and the safety of everyone's travels. Thank you for everyone in front of me here to celebrate their hard work. Thank you for guiding us through high school and leading us here to this moment. I praise you for the opportunity to gather for a celebration. I pray that you'd be with each and every one of us as we go through life and that you'd help us exhibit the fruits of your spirit as we go into the world. Help us to be disciples and remember everything valuable that we've learned in school. Let us represent Peaster with grace wherever we may go. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. As Peaster High School's principal, I'm honored to welcome you to the 2021 Peaster High School Commencement Program. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce the school officials seated in front of you. We have an outstanding board of trustees who've been selected to represent our community. Their service is greatly appreciated by our students and staff. Our board members include School Board President Mike Bowling, School Board Vice President Eric Cram, School Board Secretary Justin McKinley, School Board Members Chuck Bratcher, Keith Busby, Jacob Holt, and Scott Johnson. Our Superintendent of Schools is Mr. Lance Johnson, Assistant Superintendent Judy Bell, High School Assistant Principal Paige Borland, High School Counselor Lacey Brown, Junior High Principal Jimmy Steen, Director of Operations Darren Group, Director of Athletics Gary McElroy, and Director of Special Programs Stephanie McElroy. We have an unbelievable group of individuals leading our district, and on behalf of our students and teachers, we thank all of you. We are honored to be here today to celebrate uh, the accomplishments of this outstanding group of young men and women. Today is a culmination of 13 years of hard work on the part of many people. Parents and grandparents, extended family members, administrators, teachers, and maybe the most impressive group, students seated before me, the graduating class of 2021. This is usually, you guys, you know this. First of all, look around. I want you to look around at each other. In, in, everybody in blue. Uh, more than likely, the last time you will all be assembled together as a class. Not everybody will make every reunion. Some of you won't make any. Some of you will just decide, ah, I'm through with those guys. I'm not coming back. Some of you will. But a lot of you, for the, like I said, the, the, for the very last time, here you are sitting together. Get that picture in your mind. Take it with you. This is usually the part of the ceremony where I take a little time to impart a few parting thoughts uh, while I have you assembled for that last time. Last year, if you'll remember, I modified that a little and I let the teachers make short videos to try and recoup some of the time that they lost with those seniors. I thought I'd do something similar this year with a little different twist. A few weeks ago, you'll remember, I asked you, the class of 21, to give me one or two sentences of advice for the classes that will follow you across the stage. You complied, reluctantly, but you complied. And I want to share some of what you said. If I can get to them, here they are. She knows it'll take two weeks to do it well. Study vocabulary, look up words you don't know. Your teachers and professors, I'll throw that in, have heard all the excuses possible. Don't even go there. Your assignments are your responsibility. Don't have your parents or friends write you a note to excuse you for turning something in late. You feel really stupid and you get in trouble when your parents find out you had a month to do it. Teachers won't pass you because you participate in extracurricular activities. Do your work. Learn to prioritize. Put things in order. Do the important things first. Be interested in learning. 
not interested in getting by. And finally, school is about what you learn, what you leave here with. Don't get caught up in grades. I'll make sure that future classes get copies of these. As they show up from now on, we'll make copies, we'll pass it out at fish camp. We'll make sure they know that you had some words of wisdom for them. I appreciate you giving me those guys. Thank you very much. I'll close where I began. The honor for today is ours to honor you. And the future is yours. We hand it to you with confidence and pride. It's now my privilege to introduce the two very talented and hardworking students who led our processional. The salutatorian of the class of 2021 has maintained the second highest GPA of her class with a 101.244 grade point average. The salutatorian of the class of 2021 is Miss Millie Walls. The valedictorian of the graduating class class has maintained a cumulative GPA of 102.184, the highest of any student in his class. The valedictorian of the class of 2021 is Mr. Cade Stevens. Our class salutatorian, Ms. Walls, will now offer the salutatorian's welcome. We will follow her address with a presentation from the seniors to some important people in our audience. We will then hear from Mr. Stevens with the valedictory address. Millie. Okay. Good afternoon, my fellow classmates, parents, friends, and teachers. Today we celebrate the graduation of the class of 2021. I'm honored to be this year's salutatorian. I was considering paying Carver to write my speech so it would sound more intellectual, but I figured you might want to understand it. <laughs> I'm Millie Walls, and I'm proud to say I'm from Peaster. I'm grateful to have grown up in this small community with so many caring mentors and teachers. The dynamic of a small school has allowed us to grow up with each other, create relationships with faculty, and have a strong pride for our school. I'm also greatly appreciative of Mr. Johnson, the school board, and teachers for making our last year at Peaster one of normalcy. Now that our class has endured the cliche end of high school with prom, hashtag senior Sunday post, matching last first day t-shirts, catching senioritis, powder puff, and enjoying the senior sunset together, we are ready to begin the next chapter of our lives. Although each of us will travel down our own road into the future, we will always remember our, here, our years here with fondness. My peers and I initiated change and started many traditions here at Peaster ISD that, I'm hope, that I hope to see continued. So I would like to highlight the special accomplishments of the class of 2021. National Honor Society started the annual homecoming dance. The senior leadership Classmates, today is the last time we will all be together. Although I am counting on Carver to plan a special reunion in the years to come. We are a group of diverse talents and skills, and I'm eager to see everyone grow and become successful while making a positive impact on the world. I'm glad to have spent all my years at Peaster that have brought me so many memories. God bless the class of 2021, one to remember, and I'm honored to have been a part as we start a new journey. Thank you. For blessing us with such an amazing community to grow up in, with wise counsel and genuine friends everywhere you turn. On behalf of my classmates, thank you, Peaster ISD faculty and staff, for giving your all each and every day, laboring to provide us with a tremendous education and pushing us to do our best, even on the days we want to quit. All the while taking extra time to build relationships with us and see us not just as students, but friends. Thank you. On behalf of my classmates, I would like to also thank anybody and everybody that has aided us in becoming the men and women we are today, especially our parents. Uh, we as children are honored and blessed to have such wonderful parents, and we want to express our gratitude for you and your care and support over the years. Thank you. 
Uh, that's going to be all the appreciation I have today. After I've already had several students, such as uh, Hunter Durham or Carter McCullough, come up to me and ask me to keep this short. <coughs> so I'll do my best. Because uh, if I were to thank everyone today, it'd be um, everyone that's thank everyone that's played a part in my life and my success. We'd be here for quite a while. So uh, I'll, ma I'll make this short. Uh, if I'm being honest, my mind was filled with so many ideas on uh, what to, where to take my speech after watching countless valedictory addresses on YouTube. Uh, truthfully, I still don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, I could talk about listening to Mrs. Miles go on and on about her pet rats, or Mrs. Groot always demanding us to be quiet and pay attention, or the late night stressing over Mr. Knowles' geodesic dome project, or even when my girlfriend Katie and I won prom queen and king. Uh, or how we'd always see if we could rile up Mr. Casey just enough to where he'd do the thing with his nose. Uh, I, I don't know what exactly to call it, but if you know, you know. <laughs> but I'm not here to reminisce about the past. Although we may never all be in the same room again, we will always share the memories we created within these walls. I encourage y'all, not just my peers, but my family members and friends around, not to grieve the season we're leaving. Um, God has so many more magnificent opportunities ahead of us. We've been blessed for the short time. We've been a greyhound but I can't begin to imagine the numerous ways that God will bless us as we start a new chapter in our life. But while we still can, slow down, take the pictures, enjoy the moment. It goes by way faster than expected. These recent months have been filled with many somber lasts from our last baseball game, last volleyball game, to our last day of school. But these next few months will be filled with numerous firsts, such as our first day on our own, or for some of us, our first time doing laundry. Rather than being too cliche and talking about the future success we, I know we all will have, I want to highlight the importance of the present. There is no need to stress about our futures because it is what today that we do that matters most. Just like Coach Halfley would always ask, what's the most important thing you're doing? He'd always say, what you're doing right now. Yeah. Life is truly beautiful. I urge each and every one of you to not take it for granted. Cherish each moment and follow the words of Solomon in Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 6, where he says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Uh, one more thing before I go. I'm a man of my word, and I promised Major Glenn, as we uh, looked out over the baseball field before our last baseball game, that I mentioned you in my commencement speech. So there you go, Major. We did it. <laughs> So, th so with this, I dare you to turn the page of your story with boldness and take on this new chapter with confidence. Be strong, be brave, and make the most out of everything you do. Peaster, Texas truly has been an amazing place to grow up in. Thank you to all. I love you all. all. And congratulations to the Peaster class of 2021. Go Greyhounds. <laughs> and hook them horns. Thank you, Millie and Cade. Great job, both of you. You're at the top of a very gifted group of students graduating today. At this time, Ms. Brown, our high school counselor, has a word to say about our seniors and scholars. The end. Raina Aguilar, $16,300. Paris Antonello, $17,850. JC Baker, $6,250. Braxton Bozier, $100,000. Jaden Canifax, $84,500. Preston Casey, $5,500. Tanner Elliott, $1,200. Harrison Feltz, $8,000. Ashlyn Fields, $19,000. Molly Gilbert, $15,425. Major Glenn, $11,425. Joseph Grimes, 3,125. Abby Hester, 33,000. Katie Cran, 23,500. Maddie Lane, 2,000. Lexi Lyles, 1,500. Augusta Long, 5,500. Carter McCullough, $1,000. Rylan Miller, 27,800. Steele Pennington, 13,325. 
Hayden Rawlings, 4,200. Carver Rodenberg, 8,320. Bricia Rodriguez, 36,000. Kelly Reddy, 1,000. Gracie Schultz, 4,500. Avery Seaton, 4,000. Tessa Sharp, 1,000. Hunter Spradlin, 21,000. Cade Stevens, 25,800. Cora Stewart, 800. Luke Stratton, $34,780. And Luke will be leaving in August to head to the Marines. <laughs> Hallie Thomas, 29,400. Cole Tierce, 83,000. Millie Walls, 14,800. Keller Warren, $90,000. Ethan Weertman, 3,700, and Presley Whitehead, $117,600. Y'all should be proud. That's a grand total of $956,840. Congratulations. Thank you. You may be seated. Congratulations. Gracie Schultz and Major Glenn will now come up and share information about the senior class gift. Good afternoon, I'm Gracie Schultz. And I'm Major Glenn. It is our pleasure to share a little bit about the senior gift. Each year the graduating class, in an effort to better our school, uses part of all of our remaining class funds to purchase a parting gift for the classes that follow. Since many of us spend a few, since many of us spend the first few weeks of our senior year painting all over the parking lot to make our spots, we decided it would be a good contribution for some parking lot refurbishment. Mr. Group, the senior class of 2021 would like to make restriping the high school parking lot our gift to PHS. Mr. Group, please try to have that done before you leave town. You will be missed. Here's what you're waiting on. Yes? Yeah. Mrs. Brown and I have examined the four-year academic records of the assembled candidates for graduation. We have found that each candidate scheduled to receive a diploma has successfully completed. James Cade Stevens. <laughs> Millie Rose. Raina Michelle Aguilar. Paris Ellie Antonello. JC Renee Baker. Hunter Taylor Boggs. Braxton Michael Bozier. Caden Alexander Boyd. Joshua Edward Berg. Jaden J. Canifax. Clay Vincent Carter. <laughs> Jacob Edward Carter. <laughs> Pre
Preston Allen Lee Casey. Eric Anthony Cruz. Hunter Garrett Durham. Tanner Jacob Elliott. Ian Nash Ellis. Cordell Lane Evers. Harrison Davis Feltz. Ashlyn Isabel Fields. Emma Kate Garcia. Molly Nicole Gilbert. Major Owen Glenn. Sean David Glover. Angelina Michelle Gonzalez. Ruby Gonzalez. Dwayne Henning. Abigail Elizabeth Hester. Aaron Randall Jarvis. Peyton Coy Kemp. Katie Elizabeth Cram. Madeline Elizabeth Lane. Lexi Michaela Lyles. Jimmy Earl Don Lingle. Augusta Marveline Long. Victoria Lynn Joyce Lowe. Tanner Lloyd Marino. Carter Russell McCullough. Jacob Brian McLaughlin. Bryce Aaron Merriman. Emma Lou Messimer. Ralston Ryland Miller. Dallas Alexander Moore. Kyle Mitchell Moore. Sebastian Jesus Marino. Jaden James Morris. Trista Michelle Mueller. Alexandra Danielle Myers.
Mindy Michelle Nail. Megan K. Niemeyer. London Rose Obana. Marshall Steel Pennington. Joseph Thomas Perez. Perla Lynn Ramon. Hayden Ray Rawlings. Haley Elizabeth Marie Renteria. Carver Charles Rodenberg. Alexis Marie Rodriguez. Bricia Guadalupe Rodriguez. Tessa Lee Sharp. Grace Ellen Shaw. Ethan, Ethan James Smith. Hunter Cole Spradlin. Aiden Keith Stewart. Cora Lynn Stewart. Miranda Marie Stone. Luke James Stratton. Hallie Ann Thomas. Cadence Jolie Thompson. Ryan Cole Tears. <laughs> Keller Kirkland Warren. Alexandria Renee Waters. Isaac Quintal Webster. Ethan Michael Workman. Presley Taylor Whitehead. Wyatt Ellis Winkle. Layton Reed Young.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you the Peaster High School graduating class of 2021. us this time in high school and protecting us through it. We also thank you for blessing us with caring teachers and staff to help us prepare for this moment. Lastly, we thank you for giving us this time to become better stewards through our schoolwork and through our faith in you. Bless us all as we move on in our lives. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. As you remain standing, we will be doing our final school song as Carver Rodenberg and Maddie Lane will come here and join me. to be from Pacer, the school we all love so. 